If you're wanting to create and sell digital products online, Canva is an amazing place to start. If you know me, you know I love Canva for so many reasons, but the one we're talking about today is Canva AI. Canva has several artificial intelligence tools that make creating and editing designs so much easier. These tools especially come in handy for us digital product sellers who wanna save time and make some profit quick. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ways that you can use Canva AI to create digital products to sell online. But first, before we hop in, I wanna invite you to click through after watching this video and watch my free masterclass, Digital Product Powerhouse. It's a deep dive, 45 minute training class that you can watch on demand where I teach through the four main steps that you'll need to take to start and grow a profitable digital products business online. I walk you step-by-step step through finding the right product niche to graphic design foundations and software to platforms you can sell on and so much more. So if you're looking to start a digital product shop or maybe you already have one that you just wanna level up and make more consistent sales, then definitely click the link in the description box of this video to hop over and watch that when you're done watching this one. All right, let's go ahead and get into our Canva dashboard. All right, there are a lot of different types of digital products we could create within Canva, but for this video today, I'm going to be focusing on an Instagram template pack. So I would be selling this as a digital product seller to those who are needing templates to use for their Instagram posts. And I'm specifically focusing on the niche of fitness businesses. So this is going to be a pack of templates that fitness business owners could use for their Instagram. So I've started by creating a canvas in an Instagram post size, which is this square orientation. And I've already pulled over a photo that I like that had to do with fitness. Just for reference, if you're not familiar with Canva yet, where you can find these is on the side left-hand menu. You can click elements and then type in something you want. So I just typed in fitness and I came over to photos. And this gives me a whole library of different fitness photos that I can use. Now, just a side note here, you do want to make sure that whether you're using free content or pro content, you know the difference. So how you can tell is by this little crown symbol in the bottom right corner of each photo. If it has that crown, it says pro. That means that's a pro photo. It's a pro piece of content as opposed to the photos that don't have it. If it doesn't have the little crown symbol, you know it's a free photo and that's a free piece of content. So if you're using any content from this elements library in Canva, you just want to make sure you know if it's free or pro and you read up on the license. There's separate Canva licenses, both for free content and for pro content, just so you make sure you're abiding by the terms of that specific license with the kind of product you're wanting to offer. So here I've gone ahead and pulled over a free photo. And the first thing I'm going to do is select my photo and come up here to the top where it says edit photo. And then here I can see my magic studio selection. So magic studio is Canva's name for their AI tools. So I've got a background remover, magic eraser, magic expand. I've got several different options here that I can work with in terms of their AI tools. So the first thing I'm going to play around with is the background remover. Now you can note here some of these also have the crown symbol. So some of these AI tools are going to be for pro only users. If it doesn't have the crown like this magic edit doesn't, you can use this on the Canva free plan. If you're interested in trying out Canva Pro, I do have a free 30 day trial that you can access linked in this video's description. That'll give you 30 days on the Canva Pro plan for free and you can try it out and see if it might be something that you would want to use for your business. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the background remover. So as soon as I have this selected, I come over and click background remover. It will automatically with its AI technology, remove the background. So here I'm just left with the foreground, which was this person tying their shoes. So this is a really useful feature if I just want to get rid of that background and then I can resize this and use this how I want. So let's say I'm creating this as a social media template for a fitness owner to use and they can edit this and put whatever they want. So I might change the background color to whatever color scheme I'm thinking. I can place this photo wherever I like it on the canvas. And then I could even add some text and put whatever I want here. So I might put for this one, an inspirational quote. And there I've got my quote. And again, this is going to be a template for a fitness business owner. So the idea is that they're going to purchase this as a template set and then come into Canva and edit this themselves. But this is just giving them a starting point and showing them what they could use this for. Now, let's say instead of the background remover, we want to keep the background, but we just want to separate this foreground from the background. So instead of using that background remover, I'm going to come back up to edit photo and instead use magic grab. When I click on magic grab, it's going to separate the foreground from the background. So then I can actually click and move this around, but still have the background to use as well. So let's say I wanted to expand this background and make it fit to my canvas can make this larger and then I could resize these tennis shoes as well and just play around with this until I'm happy with how it looks. 
and just really get creative with my design here. So Magic Grab is really useful if you need to separate those two, but you wanna keep the background. All right, moving down to our next image that I brought in here, which is going along still with our fitness theme. I'm gonna use this image to create, let's say a five day challenge. So I'm gonna select this, come up to edit photo. And the first thing I'm gonna try to do is erase part of this image. So I'm gonna use my Magic Eraser here, and this is gonna give me a brush that I can then select any part of this photo that I want to erase. I can change the brush size. If I want this brush to be a little bit bigger, if I have something bigger on the canvas, I can make it larger or I can decrease this brush size to whatever size I need to then just brush over the thing that I want to erase. So let's say I don't want this phone in the picture. I'm just gonna select this and highlight the whole thing. As soon as I release, it's going to do its AI thing again and it's going to erase this phone from the image. So there we go, the phone is now erased, but we can see it still has a little bit of that shadow left from where the phone was, which kind of makes it look unnatural. So I can continue going over this again to erase that shadow and see if it'll look a little bit more natural this time. And there we go, that looks pretty good, I think. So now that that phone is gone, we can actually expand this. And my whole goal here is to create some extra negative space or extra blank space in this photo so I can put some text. So right now we've got this vertical orientation photo, but I wanna stretch this out to fill our whole square canvas here. So I could just click and drag to make this larger until it fits the whole thing, but if I do that, then I'm cropping off a huge part of the photo. So let's say I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep my whole photo without cropping any of it. Then I can come with my photo selected up to Magic Expand. And what this is gonna do is actually expand this photograph to fill in all of this extra white space around it, keeping the original photo the same size and orientation. So when I click magic expand, I have some different options here. I can choose to do the whole page or expand it to a different orientation. But for now, I'm just going to choose the whole page and then I'm going to click magic expand. And what this is doing is using AI to fill in these extra white spaces. So let's see if it can tell kind of what the colors and the patterns and texture of these edges are and see if it can create something for us. All right, so it's given us four different options here that we can click through and decide which one we like the best. So here's the first one, which I think looks pretty interesting and pretty good. They did a good job with the darker wood background. The only part that seems a little off is this little area. So let's click through to this one. This one is a little better right here, but has some kind of interesting things going on on the side that doesn't make it look super natural. But let's just click through and see which of these are the best. Now, I would say this one is probably the best, even though it kind of has this kind of weird plant right here, but I could always then come back to my magic erase and get rid of that or even expand this a little bit more. And I can do the same thing with this first one. I think the first one is also good. I think I'm gonna end up using this one and just trying to erase this little part that doesn't really fit in. So I'm gonna click done. And then with my image still selected, come back to edit photo and come back to my magic eraser. And I'm just gonna highlight this little part right here that doesn't really fit and erase that. Okay, and now it's erased that I think that looks pretty good so we're going to come back and there's our expanded picture that fits to the whole square project size if I wanted to continue playing around with this picture I could always use my magic grab again which would then allow me to move these objects around but I think I'm pretty happy with where they're placed for now so I'm going to leave them right there and now I'm going to add my text I'm going to come over to the text tab on the left and add a text box I want to say five day challenge and then I might wanna put a subtitle here. So let's say I wanna add a subtitle, but I can't really think of a really clever way to say what I'm trying to say. So all I can think of here is stay motivated to be healthy. I'm trying to say that this challenge is gonna help people to gain the motivation to really do well with their fitness goals. But I just can't really think of a clever way to say this for a subtitle. So I've got my little first prompt here. Now what I can do with this text selected is then click here on Magic Write. And this is another AI tool where Canva will help me to rewrite this or change around the words a little bit to give me some new ideas. So I could say something like rewrite this. So it rewrote it to say effective strategies to stay motivated and healthy. That definitely already sounds better than what I had. Let's try it again and say rewrite again. Top strategies for staying motivated and healthy. That sounds good too. I can also select something like more fun if I want it to add more of a fun tone. Now it says best ways to keep your motivation and health in tip top shape. Then I could choose something like more formal if I didn't want it to be quite as casual. Effective strategies to maintain optimal motivation and health. So this magic ride tool just is really fun and helpful to play around with when I'm trying to think of different ways to say things. It also helps me fix the spelling and make sure that's correct. 
So I think I'm going to stick with this one, supercharge your motivation and health with these power packed strategies. So that's going to be my little subtitle here. I can play around with this until I'm happy with the layout, but that's my basic idea for my five day challenge image here. All right, moving on to our next example here. I have just put in a little bit of text already and pulled over an icon, which I found in the elements tab. And I want to demonstrate a few other things you can do with Canva AI here. So one thing we're going to do first is bring this same subtitle down. So I'm going to just copy and then paste that in to my new project here. So we've got this subtitle, but maybe I want to expand this and add more of like a paragraph about what this challenge is about. So I can use magic write again and say, continue writing. And this will give me more based on what I have selected. And this gave me actually like a whole lot more. So I probably don't need this much, but let's just see what the beginning of this looks like here. So it kept my first line and then it continued on saying motivation and health go hand in hand. When one is lacking, the other can suffer. Fortunately, there are plenty of effective strategies that can help you supercharge both. One of the most important things you can do to boost your motivation and health is to prioritize sleep. And it continues going on giving tips and tricks and strategies for fitness. So this is really cool. Let's say I don't want to use all of this, but I just want to use maybe the first couple sentences it gave me. I can delete what I don't want and then reformat this to look how I want in this canvas. So I'm going to bring that down, put our little icon here in the middle. And now I want to work on the color scheme here, the fonts, and make this really stylized to go along with our whole template pack. Because remember, the point of this digital product is to have all of these in the same template pack for this fitness owner to purchase and use for their Instagram. So here I've got the base basics of this but I want to play around with the color scheme and the fonts. So I'm going to come to the left hand side here where it says design, and then I'm going to click over to styles. So in this styles tab, you can play around with different color palettes and fonts. But what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom where it says image palettes, because this is a really interesting way to pull colors from the photos that I've used. So this photo that I used, and then this one in the beginning that I used with the tennis shoes, it has here under image palette, and it's pulling colors that are already used in those photos in case I want to match them. So let's say I want to pull colors from this one I used with the dumbbells. I could click on that and it automatically will change my current design to that color scheme. So I can continue clicking shuffle, which is just clicking that same photo over and over again, and it will go through different color combinations within that color palette. So let's go with this color scheme here, but I want to change the fonts as well. So I can come to the font sets here, which Canva has already a bunch of really cool preset font pairings. So I can just click through these and it automatically changes my font in my title as well as my body paragraph there to the different font pairings. And I can choose one that goes along with my template set. Now coming back here from styles back over to templates, if I'm scrolling through these different preset templates and I find one that I like the color scheme of, I can click on the template and see the template style that goes with that. So then if I like these color schemes and the fonts that were used in that template, I can click on the template style and again, continue to click if I want to shuffle it and it'll give me different options according to that color scheme and font pairing. So most likely if I'm creating an Instagram template bundle, I would continue adding pages and creating more designs so that this would be a whole set that that fitness owner could purchase and use for their Instagram. But like I said before, there are so many different digital product types that you can create within Canva using these Canva AI tools. So definitely think about what type of product you want to offer, create your project inside Canva, and then go for it with finding photos and elements that you could use and edit using those Canva magic features and just have a lot of fun with it. All right, friend. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below to hop over and watch my free 45 minute deep dive training class all about how to start and grow a profitable digital products business. And also grab your free 30 day trial for Canva Pro with the link in the description box below to trial Canva Pro for free for 30 days and see if it might be a good fit for your business. Happy selling friends. Okay.